Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on setting up Simple Notification Service using CloudWatch. In this tutorial series, I'll go over the different aspects of Simple Notification Service, as well as setting up a CloudWatch metric that will push to an SNS topic and will receive an alert via email. So let's go ahead and get started. So SNS is broken up into three sections. The first is topics, and topics are basically communication channels that you send messages to. And the second is applications. Applications are basically mobile devices that you can uh, push notifications to. And subscriptions are ways for users to subscribe to your topic. So this could be SMS, this could be email, and this could be HTTP, a variety of different ways to subscribe. So now we need to create our first topic. So we'll click Create New Topic. We're going to give it a name and a display name. And here we're going to monitor the health of a load balancer that I have created prior to this, uh, this tutorial. So now we want to copy the Amazon resource name and this is what we're going to use to subscribe to. So we'll go ahead and click copy. And we're going to go to subscriptions and we're going to create a new subscription. Now, there's many different protocols that you can use to subscribe, and we'll paste the topic on here. Uh, in these protocols, um, the only one we're going to select here is email, but you can do SMS, Lambda, um, SQS, HTTP. There's a, there's a ton of different ways to configure this, um, but we're going to keep it easy here and select our email. And once I put in my email address and click Create Subscription, it will now send an email to me that I'll have to use to subscribe to. So you could see here that we have a pending confirmation. So if I jump over to my email, you'll see that I have a subscription confirmation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm my subscription and this will get me signed up for that SNS alert. So I'll click confirm subscription and you can see I'm now subscribed to the topic load balancer health. And so if we go back over to SNS and we refresh the subscriptions, we can see that now I have a subscription ARN and I'm set to receive messages from that topic. So if we look at our load balancers, I've already created this before the tutorial, but I have two servers that are in service. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a CloudWatch metric to monitor this load balancer for its healthy host count. And when that healthy host count gets below the threshold, we're going to send an alarm out to our SNS topic. So we're going to go ahead and click Create an Alarm, and we're going to click ELB Metrics. We'll scroll down until we find the healthy host count, and we'll go ahead and click Next. We'll give it a name and a description, and we'll set the parameter to be anything less than two servers that are healthy inside of the load balancer. So as soon as we take one server out of this load balancer, the alarm is going to go off. So we'll set this as state of an alarm and we're going to send a notification to load balancer health. And you can see it already provides you with the emails that are in that uh, subscription to that topic. And you can always add more if you need to. And we'll go ahead and click create an alarm. And we can see here that our alarm is in OK status. So if we go back to EC2, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove a server from the load balancer. And now we should see that the CloudWatch metric has been triggered and it has sent an email to our SNS topic, which has then sent out to anyone subscribed to it. So if we jump over to my email, I should have an email from Amazon that was pushed out via that SNS topic. And we could see that I do that I have an alarm for healthy hosts and it is below the threshold of two servers healthy in the load balancer. And this was sent to the um, SNS topic that we've created and subscribed to. So that concludes our tutorial on using Amazon SNS to create a topic, subscribe to that topic via email and send out a notification via a CloudWatch metric. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.